Hey everyone, welcome back to 9 to 5 Linux. Where we dive into world of tech, operating systems and everything in between. Today, we are tackling a popular debate in the Linux community. Zorin OS versus Fedora. If you are thinking about switching to Linux or just curious about these two distributions, this video is for you. I'll break down their key differences, strengths and who they are best suited for. Stick around till the end for my final thoughts on which one might be right for your setup. First off, let's start with the basics. Both Zorin OS and Fedora are free, open source Linux distributions. But they come from different routes and cater to slightly different users. Zorin OS built on top of Ubuntu, which means it uses the APT package manager for installing software. It's designed specifically to feel familiar if you are coming from Windows or Mac OS. The team behind Zorin focuses on making Linux accessible for beginners. With customizable desktop layouts that can mimic Windows 11, Mac OS or even classic Ubuntu styles. The latest version, Zorin OS 18, is based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and includes a refined user interface, smart window tiling and built-in tools for running Windows apps through Vine. It's got a free core edition and a paid pro version with extra themes and apps. But the free one is plenty powerful for most people. On the other hand, Fedora is sponsored by Red Hat and uses the RPM package manager. It's known for being a cutting edge distro that pushes the latest features and technologies. Fedora Workstation comes with the GNOME desktop environment by default. But there are spins for other interfaces like KDE, Cinnamon, or XFCE. The current release is Fedora 43, and it's all about innovation. Think early adaption of new kernels, VLAN for graphics, and tools for developers. Unlike Zorin, Fedora isn't LTS focused. It releases new versions every six months, with support for about 13 months per release, encouraging users to stay updated. Now let's compare them head to head in some key areas. Starting with the user friendliness, Zorin OS takes the crown here. It's incredibly polished out of the box with an app called Zorin Appearance that lets you tweak the look and feel without diving into terminal commands. If you're new to Linux, Zorin's software store is simple and it even includes drivers for Nvidia, AMD and Intel graphics right from the start. Fedora is solid, but it assumes a bit more tech savviness. Installing proprietary drivers or tweaking settings might require some extra steps, like enabling third-party repositories. According to user reviews on some sites, Zorin OS scores higher in ease of use, which is 9.4 out of 10, compared to Fedora's 8.4. Next, performance and hardware compatibility. Both run well on modern hardware. But Zorin shines on older machines. It can breathe new life into laptops or desktops that are 15 years old. Thanks to its lightweight design and focus on efficiency. Fedora is snappier with the latest hardware, especially if you are into gaming or creative work. But it might feel a tad heavier on low-end specs because of its emphasis on new features. In terms of system requirements, Zorin is more forgiving. It works on systems with as little as 2 GB of RAM for basic tasks, while Fedora recommends at least 4 GB for a smooth experience. Software availability is a tie, but with the nonsense. Since Zorin is Ubuntu based, you get access to a massive repository of apps, plus Snap and Flatpak support for even more. Fedora uses DNF for package and also supports Flatpaks. But its repos might have fewer pre-built options for some proprietary software. However, Fedora often gets newer versions on open source tools faster, which is great for developers. Both can run Windows apps via tools like Proton for gaming or Bottles for general software. But Zorin's built-in Windows app support in version 18 makes it easier for beginners. Now, community and support. Fedora has a huge active community backed by Red Hat. 
with excellent forums, docs, and IRC channels. It's ideal if you like contributing or staying on the bleeding edge. Zorin, while smaller, has a dedicated forum and emphasis user-friendly help guides. Plus, Zorin's team provides long-term support up to June 2029 for version 18, making it more stable for everyday users who don't want frequent upgrades. For specific use cases, if you are a beginner switching from Windows, go with Zorin. It's less intimidating and has features like Zorin Connect for syncing with your Android phone. Gamers might lean towards Zorin too, with its optimized drivers and Steam integration. Fedora is better for programmers, sysadmins, or anyone who wants the latest Linux innovations, like container tools for Docker or Podman. It also a great stepping stone to Red Hat Enterprises Linux if you are in a professional environment. Now, pros of Zorin OS. Super beginner friendly, customizable interfaces, excellent privacy features, which is no data collection, and strong compatibility with older hardware. Now, let's talk about the cons. The Pro Edition costs money for extras, and it's not as cutting edge as Fedora. Now, let's talk about the pros of Fedora. It's free in every sense. Innovative with the newest tech and a vibrant community. Now, let's talk about the cons. Shorter support cycles means more frequent updates and it might require more tweaking for non-tech users. In my experience and from what I've seen in online discussions on Reddit and X, Zorin is often recommended for smooth transitions from other operating systems. While Fedora appeals to those who enjoy experimenting. So, which one should you choose? If ease and familiarity are your priorities, start with Sorin OS. For innovation and development work, Fedora's your pick. Both are fantastic alternatives to proprietary systems. And you can try them via Live USB without installing. Download links are in the description. Let me know in the comments which one you are using or planning to try. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more Linux content and ring the bell for notifications. See you in the next video. Peace out.